Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Heike and you're watching Stone Cold Coffee Crafts. This is Lola, the ragdoll cat, my furry assistant. Um, she is here to make sure that I do this correctly because um, I am a human and I can't do anything without cat supervision. Yeah, welcome back. It is time for another final review. This time we are looking at Nefertiti from, or is it Nefertiri? Nefertiri. Um, I never can remember. I know it's one of them and I know they had the wrong name at first and then they had the right name at first and I can never remember which it is but the canvas said Nefertiri so I hope this is the right name. This is a painting by the artist Mandy Manzano and it is licensed to Diamond Art Club. It is still available for purchase. Um, it might be out of stock so check the um, pre-order or coming back soon section and if it is not in stock or not up for pre-order put your email address down to be notified when it comes back because this is one of the canvases that goes in and out of stock all the time. People just go crazy for this one and I fully understand why. I have zero complaints about this canvas. It was perfect from start to finish. Nothing that annoyed me, nothing that was bad, nothing that was even not perfect. <laughs> so this is one of the most boring canvases if you are not a person who loves Diamond Art Club because I am going to just say good things about this. Um, it is a 32 by 58 centimeter painting, which makes it one of the smaller ones that Diamond Art Club offers. For sure one of the smallest in the Mindy Manzano collection, which I still believe is their absolute top collection they have. Mindy's art is perfect for diamond painting. Um, this was a bit off there. And um, this painting is so surprising because it has a lot, lot, lot of small details. Not so much in her face that you can see right now because there are beads on there and beads are yucky. That's why the assistant doesn't lie on these faces. But there are a lot of small details in the background with these bubbles and in the, in the headpiece she's wearing, but especially in the dress. And even though there are so many details, the small size works. And I think that's what makes this canvas such a bestseller because it's not so super big. It has a lot of details. And of course, it has, um, on top of the AB drills, which are pretty standard, it's sad, sad to th say that because AB drills used to be a huge, huge thing. And now every canvas has them. <laughs> which makes them standard. But um, aside from them, there are also special beads on here that are um, special shaped, like these teardrop beads you see here and here and also up here. And then we have also the bigger rounds down here in her dress. This is something Diamond Heart Club did pretty early on. Um, I think they actually started this before they added AB beads into the paintings even. Um, and this is one of the few canvases that still has such beads. It's it's pretty rare to see that. And I think that's, that's the two main reasons why this canvas is such a bestseller. It's not, it's not huge and overwhelming and it has these many, many, many details with ABs and special shape beads on top. So what do we have here? We have 28 colors. Like I said, one of them AB, it's this light yellow color and you can mainly see it here under her eye. Can I show the, probably have to pick it up and show you up close. Can you see that these are a bit different? Yeah, I think you can. They are a tiny bit different. They look different on top. That's the AB coating, the Aurora Borealis coating. Um, it gives it an extra oomph, some extra sparkle, and it is an iridescent coating, so it has a bit of a color play as well. And um, then we have three special beads on top to bring it to a full 31 beads, and those are these big red teardrops. They do not come with cat hair, that is my customization. Um, then we have the 
multifaceted yellow. Um, those also have an AB coating on top, and I think you can see pretty well what that means as far as the color change goes. And last but not least, the aforementioned red round beads. Yeah, so like I said, no negatives. Which brings us to the positives. Perfect print, perfect glue, perfect beads. I think I had pretty much no trash. Uh, let me check. Nope, that, that is not the trash for this painting. Nope. That is not the one. Did I misplace my trash or is it in here? <laughs> I think I either didn't pick any trash out, which is possible. I sometimes don't do so. Oh, no, I think I found it. I put it in here. <laughs> it in here somewhere somewhere over the trash bowl here it is that's all my trash I had not a whole lot um, I think I picked out a few AB beads the, the light yellow is all AB and I picked out some AB beads that looked a bit dull on top to me which had not the full AB coating Otherwise, there's nothing wrong. And the other ones you see there, you can see that shape-wise, there's nothing wrong with them. They also do not have any um, imperfections on top. They are basically in there because I found them in a container they didn't belong in. And um, I was too lazy to try and find the right color. So they are not even trash. It's just me. <laughs> so that was also very enjoyable. Um, and absolutely perfect. Simple clarity was extremely good as always with the Diamond Art Club paintings and I had plenty of leftover drills. So let's have a look at those. So these are all my leftover drills. As you can see there are some bags that are pretty full. This is all the 310 that is left, which is a lot. We have all the colors we have leftovers from all the special beads and there is a B as well a B is here this is the leftover a B so no complaints with this one uh, it is a 100% recommendation for me if you like this painting if you always thought it was a beautiful piece of artwork what are you waiting for <laughs> It is, um, on the day of filming this, it is back for pre-order, but it's also marked as low stock. So just for an explanation, um, Diamond Art Club opens paintings for pre-orders as soon as they have an estimation when the stock will arrive at their warehouse. And they can tell you when they will, will send it out, but they only open it as far as the numbers of kits they have pre-ordered. So if they have pre-ordered 300 kits and um, people buy them all during the pre-order period, it's going to go back to out of stock. If you successfully pre-ordered, um, you will get your kit, don't worry. They will also, as soon as they notice that they are reaching the, um, it's going to sell out before we even restock point, they will put in another restock order in a timely manner but it just takes right now it takes a long time um, to get stock from China so they are trying their best but they have also become widely popular over the last um, 14 months or so we all know why <laughs> um, there are quite a few people also with with a huge following some of them um, that have started this hobby and promoted this hobby and most of them have started out with Diamond Art Club so that's why it's it's like it is right now. Well deserved in my opinion. Even if I know it is frustrating. Believe me, I know. Anyway, this is all I can say about this painting. It's another perfect one. And yeah, I would highly recommend that. So if you've always been in love with it, don't hesitate. Get it or get on the notification list if you can't right now. All right. Um, 
the little assistant has left us. We have talked too much. <laughs> it's time to go. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and I will be back soon. Bye.